In this example, we want to determine the exact trig function values listed here on the left. There are two main ways of doing this. Number one, we can use a unit circle, or number two, we could use reference triangles. In this example, we'll use the unit circle. So what we need to do is determine where negative 990 degrees will intersect the unit circle, and then we can use that point to determine these four trig function values. So let's start by sketching this angle in standard position. So here's the initial side of our angle. And because it's a negative angle, we're going to rotate clockwise 990 degrees. So if we rotate two times clockwise, that would be negative 720 degrees. And since 990 degrees is equal to negative 720 degrees plus negative 270 degrees, we need to rotate another 270 degrees clockwise. So if we do that, the terminal side of the angle is going to be along the positive y-axis here. So this terminal side would intersect the unit circle at the point zero, one. So we know that x is zero and y is one. That'll help us find these function values. Remember on the unit circle, x is equal to cosine theta. So cosine theta would be equal to zero, and sine theta would be equal to the y-coordinate, or one. Next, we know that secant theta is a reciprocal of cosine theta. So if we can determine the reciprocal of zero, we'll know the secant function value. The easiest way to do this is to make zero into a fraction. Well, zero over one would be a fraction. If we take the reciprocal of zero over one, or zero divided by one, it would be one divided by zero. Well, one divided by zero is undefined, and therefore secant theta does not exist. Next, cosecant theta is the reciprocal of sine theta. So let's try the same thing with one. Let's make one a fraction. Well, the easiest way is to put one over one. And if we take the reciprocal of one over one, it's still equal to one over one. So cosecant theta is equal to one. And in this problem, it was a good idea we didn't use reference triangles because if we have a quadrantal angle where the terminal side is along one of the axes, we can't sketch a reference triangle. But in the next example, we will take a look at using reference triangles.